Hi there, welcome to Pioneers TV. I'm Henrietta, I'll be your host for these six sequences that we're gonna make before the actual crazy tech event at the end of October in Vienna. Every time we'll have a guest and some little spices to keep you excited until the event. Last year we did Startup Week 2011, it was great, awesome speakers, 500 plus startups, all that stuff, but this year we wanted to do something different and that's why we're doing Pioneers Festival. With Pioneers we wanna get those innovators and entrepreneurs on stage who want to change the future and who want to bring all kinds of new stuff that you couldn't even imagine to you. And we want those guys there who are doing the innovations, talking about them, teaching them and putting their money where their mouth is. So this time in this uh, episode, we have a lovely guest with us. It's Alexander Popovich from Logix. And let's have a look what they're doing. I remember every day, every night Back then when we once got started I was walking down the street, saw a light Got all blinded so I had to follow One fell over, I said, hey, are you okay? She said, have enough, I thought, yes, we got it Welcome, Alex. How are you today? Fine, I feel honored to be here at Pioneers. Well, thanks a lot. Uh, do you mind telling us a little bit you're about to revolutionize the shopping ways of people? Or Our idea was simply, we just saw that in the past few years, the, the usage of, of, of devices, touchable devices has exploded. Mm -hmm. And we just thought, hey, wouldn't it be fun to have large scale, large scale big uh, interactive systems like, uh, like you've seen in the video in, in shopping windows. So how is your product gonna ease my life, so to say? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine yourself, you walk into a subway and while you're waiting for a tram, you see an advertising screen. But something is different, the screen is interactive. And when you start interacting with it, you see that you can not just view and browse all the information that are offered, all the products, you can also buy them. You can just uh, order them and they get delivered to your home directly. Okay, so if I'm having a party and uh, I forgot um, all the stuff that we want to eat there, uh, then I can just order it there and it'll be shipped to my house or something convenient like that. <laughs> For example, I, I, see, I see different use cases, but what uh, the main idea is the integration of interactive screens in our public spaces okay. directly in the shop or you can also put it into a subway but there's a huge benefit that comes uh, when we integrate computer systems is interactive computer systems when it comes to the virtualization of uh, all the products that are sold and um, we have that information because we use that in web shops and you can also have that information on your mobile phone for example but what about like uh, thinking in new ways like creating interactive advertising screens that you can interact with in a subway. So I uh, hope to see your product on display at Pioneers, but uh, who are the pioneers or the people that influence you or are your role models? Well, um, there's one really, really influencing person and uh, this is uh, Steve Jobs as um, from, from my childhood on, I was always fascinated uh, by computers. I don't remember much from my childhood, but what I remember is like the first computer I saw when I was like five years old. And um, this of course has been possible by people like Steve Jobs who had the vision to, to create a machine, a thinking machine that, that helps us in our daily routine life. And um, I'm thinking about the evolution of such systems and hopefully um, something like uh, sense systems can be a part of uh, this computer evolution. This is our dream, our vision. As you know, we're going to have a lot of those innovators this year um, and that's why we need a bigger space. And uh, let's have a look at the Hofburg Imperial Palace. And here it is, the Hofburg Imperial Palace, built in 1279 and home of the Habsburgs for centuries. 
Today it's the residency of the Austrian president and the location of the Imperial Library. This is where we'll welcome 2,500 participants from around the world, more than 60 speakers and 50 startups battling it out over three days. Cutting edge technology combined with Imperial charm will make this the wildest mashup in Europe. So the Hofburg Imperial Palace in all its beauty is good enough for the president of Austria. Um, what would you like to see over there? Well, I'm totally looking forward to meet other people who carry the same spirit, creators and innovators, people who want to change something. And um, I have no expectation, but I think uh, on a festival like that, everything could be possible. So as a startup, you don't have that much time to waste. So what do you look into when you're going into a conference? What do you want to get out of there? Well, I see, I see a network there that, of course, is uh, full with people who are interesting and uh, could maybe somehow interact and relate with what we do. Criticism, knowledge transfer, uh, maybe other engineers who are interested in what we do, who want to work with us. This is also something that we're looking forward to because there are not much um, 3D developers, for example, who are doing things that we do. Um, and also, uh, we're looking forward just to show what we do and maybe uh, we we'll learn out of that again because of criticism, feedback or whatever. We love startups like our guests tonight and uh, we want them to walk out with the best possible outcome in their hands from Pioneers Festival. Um, at Pioneers Festival, alongside the main track, we have a startup academy where there'll be hands-on knowledge, really school of hard knocks and all the best mentors in their own fields delivering real information and knowledge to the startups. And I think we could take a look at some speakers. What do you say? Well, yes, sure. Okay, let's have a look at our first three speakers to announce. Tom Hume, founder of OpenIDEO and the winner of the Webby Awards 2011. Alexander Osterwalder, author of The Startup Bible, Business Model Generation. Christopher Alberg, CEO of Recorded Future, his first two investors, Google and the CIA. You probably want to influence what they're going to be talking about and their topics. So you can go online right now to www.pioneersfestival.com and vote for the topics that you want to hear that they want to present to you. And you can also see lots of more information on speakers. They've actually done really cool stuff in the past and you should definitely check that out. Startups applications are open. If you want to get there on stage in front of all these 2,500 people, in front of your own role models and everyone to pitch, the stage is yours. You, all you have to do is apply today. To give you a last treat, we're also throwing out a pair of tickets. So from today onwards, if you tweet at Pioneers Festival with the hashtag PF12TV, we'll be throwing out a few tickets with the, for the best tweets, let's say, until the next time. So Alex, coming back to you, um, what's the one place in the world that you would want to live in one day? Um, Outside Klagenfurt. <laughs> well, uh, have you ever been on Hawaii, in, on Maui? No, I haven't been there, yeah. Well, I think it's the tropical version of Austria. It's my second home. Okay. Well, you can make a Hawaii presentation in one of those beautiful screens and I can buy myself a ticket. <laughs> wow. So, thanks for being with us tonight. And you guys make sure you tweet right now with hashtag PF12TV. Get your tickets because next time we'll be announcing some incredible new speakers again and you should stay tuned. See you next time.